Hello, this is Sunita and welcome to my YouTube channel MNT class. If you are new in my channel, then subscribe and press the bell icon for latest notification. Today our topic is antibody. In this session, we are going to learn what is antibody, its type, its structures and the functions of all types of antibodies. So without wasting time, let's start. At first, we will see what is antibody. Antibody is a large protein, constitutes of gamma globulin produced by plasma cells. It is used by the immune system to identify and neutralize pathogens such as bacteria and viruses. Antibodies are also called immunoglobulins. The antibody recognizes a unique molecule of harmful agent called antigen. Here the history of the antibody is given. Structure of antibody. All antibodies share a basic structure. Antibodies are heavy globular plasma protein or glycoproteins. Each antibody is a heterodimer with a molecular weight of approximately 150 kb. It is the basic structure of antibody. This is heavy chain and this is light chain. H and L chains are bonded via the disulfide linkage. These are the antigen binding sites. This structure is very very important. Immunoglobulin domains. Antibody is composed of two identical heavy polypeptide chains and two identical light chains. These are bonded via interchain disulfide linkage. Heavy chain is also called H and light chain is also called L chain. Now we will see heavy chains. Five types of heavy chains are present. They are alpha, gamma, delta, epsilon and mu. Each heavy chain has two regions, one constant and one variable region. We will see light chains. Two types of light chains are present. They are kappa and lambda. All antibodies have one of two kinds of light chains. Light chain is also called L chain. Now we will see the different classes and functions of antibodies. There are five classes of antibodies are present. They are IgG, IgM, IgA, IgD and IgE. The antibody classes are named by their heavy chain types. Now we will see IgG. They make up approximately 80% of serum antibodies. They has a half life of 7 to 23rd days. IgG is a monomer. IgG is the only antibody that can cross the placenta and enter the fetal circulation. Functions of IgG. It gives immunity to newborn and neutralization of toxin IgG3 binds to FC receptors by phagocytosis. Now we will see IgM. They make up approximately 13% of serum antibodies and their half-life is about 5 days. Most of the IgM are pentamer and has 10 epitope binding sites. Some are monomer. IgM is the first immunoglobulin class produced in a primary response to antigen. This point is very very important for exams. Functions of IgM It play an important role in the activation of classical pathway and defense against antigens and it also acts as opsonin. IgA they makes up approximately 6% of serum antibodies their half-life is 5 days and it is a dimer and has 4 epitope binding sites they found mainly in body secretion such as saliva, mucus, tears, colostrum and also milk. Functions of IgA it is a secretory antibody. It is effective against virus that causing influenza. 
Our next point is IgD. They makes up approximately 0.2% of serum antibodies. It is a monomer and has two epitope binding sites. This class of antibodies are found on the surface of B lymphocytes. Functions of IgD It play an important role in B cell activation and also act a receptor for antigen binding. Our last point is IgE. It is discovered in 1966 by K. Isijaka. It is very low concentration in blood. It contains small percentage of lymphocytes. Functions of IgE. It is responsible for immediate hypersensitivity and binds to FC receptor on basophils and mast cells. And it also release of substance like histamine, vasoactive mediators, etc. Do you know what is mast cell? When basophil is found in tissue, it is called mast cell. Here are the structures of the five antibodies. This is IgG, this is IgE, IgD, IgM and IgA. Let's summarize what we learn. At first, we see the introductions and the history of the antibody, the structure of the antibodies, and the heavy chain, light chain, disulfide linkage bond, the five types of heavy chains light chains and different classes and functions of antibodies then you see IgG and its function IgM and its functions IgA IgD and at last we see the IgM and and the structures of all antibodies thank you so much for watching if you like this video then subscribe and press the bell icon for latest notification.